It also smells nice. They have probably like a <laughs> like, smell. I listen for the price of what four point eight now the starting. Like, I think that they better they smell. Be like they better smell nice. Supply. They better smell nice. <laughs> So here we are. I mean, I know Alex, you are not the first time in Miami, but, but I live first. here for eight years. And when I come to the beach, I'm like, let's let's yes. go for a swim. Let's go for a swim. So, uh, okay, now uh, I think some of children watching my channel, so <laughs> I'm not sure you want to. I heard there's like a, a nude beach somewhere here. I was told. Yeah, I, and I also heard that you run because it's quite a distance, so you can. Yes, run. but I was told it's I'm like not supposed to run miles. to this beach. There's a reason. <laughs> <laughs> There's a to, to, to run exactly. Well, run I, I know people run exactly to that beach, so okay. I don't run, so <laughs> I'm fine as soon as okay, You live longer. Like not me, <laughs> yeah. All I right. live longer. Yeah, of course, will, because I live in Florida. That's why. You don't have homeless people? I can people? just meditate. <laughs> We're homeless people. This, actually, let's talk about it. Yeah, how this sales center would look if it would be in the middle of Manhattan. You, you can't leave uh, furniture outside, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> furniture outside, Rodden's homeless people having a party with this furniture. Okay. <laughs> doesn't sound like... Uh, to jack up the price as well. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doesn't sound like uh, good and desirable to me, but sounds very New York. All right. I agree. How are your shoes? You want to have a walk? Um, yeah. I actually, I needed to remove <laughs> the shoes last time I was here. Okay, once we're here, I want to tell you the reason why I think this, pro why I actually brought you here. Because yes. in a long-term distance, I think this project will be just so much appreciated, not only because of the brand, but because all this is uh -huh. the size of the lot. So basically, wow. the uh, developments that uh, were recently built, uh -huh. that they're building now, they're not going to have such huge lot. And in real estate, it's still, it's a lot uh, about real estate. It's about the brand, it's about the finishes, about yes. the market, a lot, but still the land, it will be in the first place, right? Wow. So just, just check this out. There is no such a huge land left in Sanya. So the, and the this last. will be basically the last, the, last. <laughs> the last largest, longest lot being mm -hmm. built now. So on the long run, I can only imagine how the prices yeah. will be appreciated. So you'd better hurry up and yeah. buy this place right now. When yeah. is it going to be built? 2025? Uh, so 26. 26. And there's going to be two towers. So the first tower is almost sold. Uh -huh. And for the second tower, the prices will be much higher, 20% higher being in particular. Lucy. He's our Alex, colleague, as I wrote Lucy. to you, from New York. So he's That's killing me. it in Three Manhattan. That's yeah. Beautiful. They're coming. The New Yorkers are coming. Oh, they did better. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're still coming. Right, right, right. Yeah. So. It's nice that you know who's the client, who travels to Miami, who yeah. likes the city. We have some of the clients that are already here, a few uh -huh. blocks away. Yeah. And then trying to sell some of the stuff in New York to yeah. consider this place. It's true. It's, and at uh -huh. the same time, the best buyer already comes to Miami. They use yeah. the city they come and in vacation so right. it's a nice upgrade usually nice. the person that buys in pre-construction they already have a property yeah. they can wait four years for the next property uh -huh. wow so yeah yeah actually amazing. i agree i agree yeah, because, because that happens here yeah. your first property you don't have anything maybe you yeah. don't want to wait four years so they but take it slow ready, like yeah not so, like New Yorkers. So the, the no. But we have a plan. So get one that is right now exactly. <laughs> that's already built and then <laughs> invest in new construction. And it, by the time it's ready, you still enjoy the, all, all the, the advantages. All the but, but sometimes that you're looking for the property, like what you see in resale is not as nice as what you wish. Uh -huh. And the one you love, it will take four years. So you're willing to buy something smaller and uh -huh. not spending much. And then when this is ready, the other 50% right, right, is right, right, already right. there. So, wow, that's, yeah. a good, that's a good project. You're so lucky to be here. Yeah, wow. no, it's <laughs> yeah, it's, today you're lucky to. So, yeah. Lucky yeah. to be alive here. Let's see, let's check the wow. finishes because this is the kitchen exactly how it will look like in the apartment. So it's like the model unit. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. That's the closest to a model that we have. Yeah. Is it okay and to touch everything? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you just don't lay down on the countertop. Yeah. <laughs> you can open the door, press the, the automatic buttons. All the uh -huh. uh, refrigerator and the freezer, they're touch-up panels. Ah. So when you touch, the freezer opens. So when you have okay. greasy hands, you don't yeah. have to use your hands. 
Okay. That's what that's they, what they did. The that's what they did. Yes. yes. Like like this exactly. for instance. Exactly. Just press touch. Yeah. Exactly. Oh wow. So <gasps> like if you cut in vegetables and stuff, right? Yeah, exactly. Or if you're busy holding wine. <laughs> for your guests. <laughs> wow. This is fantastic. For me, the heart of every kitchen is actually a wine cooler. <laughs> you have Gaginau everywhere. Uh, the market growers, I think you have to push to open. The, those are the ones that you can warm the plates before serving the food. So you uh -huh. have that the kind of the restaurant that when you serve the food doesn't get cold, so you mm -hmm. warm the plates first. So that's you nice. can do like without being an industrial uh -huh. kitchen, you have that feeling. Uh, the new construction are not using microwaves anymore. We're using steamer. It's healthier. I don't know if your mother told you that. She was right. I don't know. If <laughs> mother, I never I listened to her what, anyways. Exactly. But I was time. <laughs> hates the microwave and it's still boiling that yeah. water. So that's the idea that you use back to what is boiling water, which is pretty uh, much this steam is impressive. water and heat. Yeah. Wow. So you heat as fast as the microwave, so it's healthier. Uh -huh. And then the oven comes with the rotisserie. For wow. whoever cooks, it's, you know, it's cool. So in round subs, you can have the chicken or you yeah. can have like meat that goes and heat all the same level mm -hmm. in with induction. So it gives you the closest to, to industrial kitchen. Oh, yeah. For whoever is like into cooking, you know, I yeah. know the majority of us think like, oh, that's amazing. Like who's cooking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but sure. whoever does, they whoever really appreciate is cooking, those. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. You can cook a few chickens here. Exactly. Almost. You can do, I, I'm South so America, so all, everything that I think is in red meat. Uh, so we do a lot of picanhas, which is pretty much. Oh my God. Steak. Every time oh. I see your picanha on social media, I'm I know, like, oh I'm my like, God. And that's the, I remember being to Brazilian rodillos that they bring you a piece oh. of meat and then. Oh. Oh. Slide I like churrasco. Yeah, uh -huh. exactly. So that's kind of what you can do. Wow. You just take the big piece of meat and then you take out it, put it on the table. And <laughs> yeah. Just like, no, oh, this is you're fantastic. Brazilian? I'm Brazilian. Okay. Yeah. Well. So this is the bathroom. They all come like this. So this is the standard of all the residences. Uh -huh. So the idea that they all come with the porcelanato where the vein matches and comes with the uh, marble in the countertops, marble oh. in the wall separate shower and bathtub and then the smart toilet bidet. And so the that's ceilings are like that in every single ceilings. apartment? Yes. Every single yes. apartment? Yes. That's the nice thing of new construction. Yeah. How Small tall, attempt. How tall are you? 6'1 in yeah. the morning, 6'2 in the evening. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is tall. Wow. Yeah, so it's a good size. Yeah. In New York, you can fit in two apartments. I know, that's the beauty of construction <laughs> and the beauty of what is new, that everything feels grandiose. You know, like wow. the space is a luxury. It's true. Never, never had a struggle selling any size apartment to a New Yorker. Oh, they're like, yeah. wow, there's New just York so much size. space. And, like, and let's get like, everywhere. <laughs> the buy old, the buy small. So when yeah. you see Florida, everything is new. It's high ceilings, yeah. it's bigger. And the prices less per square foot. So True. it's a True. user buyer, you know, like their standards are very low. So when yeah. you give like nicer things. <laughs> for everything. Yeah. I feel, I feel like, just now. Oh my God, they have a roof in this apartment. It's a luxury. Exactly. I remember having a hard time in Baccarat selling the units that were not facing the water and you talk with the New York and they said what is facing it's like the new building also it's a city view I said yes yeah, exactly. <laughs> perfect I love city yeah. views and that's it and I forget about water views like for us if you don't have a water uh -huh. like you're not buying you're like, like you should never do any purchase without water you talk with the New Yorker as long as it's not the wall they're okay you know like, it's like is there is no, no the right question is is there Even, any view yeah. so that's how usually New Yorkers the wall, on the wall. I know I know so I feel bad <laughs> but when you sell an apartment in New York and the space in the wall, you say there is a wall and there is the wall. It's such a beautiful wall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, but, and you basically you take negatives and then you take you drift your attention from the negatives. Well, so say, this wall is from Four Seasons. No, no, it's like, it's like, <laughs> like a wall. there is like a wall, and you're like there is a wall, but look at this weather outside. <laughs> You're always thinking, yeah. you know, that's the beauty because nobody's looking at you. You have the wall. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Alex, you would make it work here for sure. If wow. one day you decide to move to Florida, right? <laughs> And I mean, this like is all in New York. <laughs> so this is the size of a living room with one of the residences. So this is 28 by 30. So this is the size of somebody's living room in their mm -hmm. It's big enough. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, it's a, a Looks like it, there's really... 
enough space for a large party, for Picanha situation yeah, and exactly. everything, for big yeah, families. Yeah. I think it, it is important to say now that there is no going to be small units in the development so, whatsoever. So, so what the, the, the smallest one is two bedroom, two and a half bathroom or three bathroom. No, that's the two point. and a half, you know, so, and this is considered the smallest. Okay. And even though this is the smallest floor plan in the building, it's still going to have direct ocean view. Nice. So this is the kind of luxury exactly. you can only ask for in different buildings in Sanyas and it's so hardly to So find. this is the best building, the top? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you buy purchase prices there in the five, seven, eight, ten million, uh -huh. you're a sophisticated individual. You have access to a lot of nice things. Yes. So your standards of service and food and timing and car and massages and uh -huh. spa and hairdressers, so it needs to be there. Yeah, and you, it's almost like a given. You want to have, you paint that, you expect that, but not always. It's not the case, you know. Definitely. Like, and that has to do with management. I think that's what the hotels are dominating the resale market. Uh -huh. All the prices of the hotel branded buildings are reselling higher than the no hotel uh, brand. Than the regular ones. Yeah, it is uh, such a great example. The building that we have here, the Four Seasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they've been basically renovating the very old lobby and then they built the uh, new construction mm -hmm. just on top of it and still like people who bought it at the very early stage they're like wow so they 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 it's really they met it they made a jackpot for sure because yeah. it, it just went up so tremendously because there is no similar project but, but so, also since you said like there's not much land left this yes. is pretty much once in a lifetime. Yes, for sure. And especially yeah. such wide lots, you and know. Acres, it's a lot on the old mm -hmm. Wow. So you do have all these pools on the front on the same level of the beach. Uh -huh. So you have 150 meters on the ocean. Mm. So the pool deck is over 100 meters. A professional swimmer pool, it's 75 meters. You get one Olympic size. like the side. Olympic size. So, so you the can... bigger the Olympic size pools, and they have all these private on the beach level. And then to compensate that these uh -huh. buildings will make shot on the pool, they make the whole sunset deck, the oh. same size of the parking lot that you see here, plus the other part, everything in the sunset pool on the west mm -hmm. side. Like a main. So you have a water park in both ways of the building. You have all the amenities. You should have Lionel Messi buying an apartment here. Oh, I know. We'll be working on this. He has one in Porsche, so let him sell yeah. this old crap and buy this one. We worked together with Dazzar. When she was at Dazzar, we worked in the same company. But then when I started this building, she started from the beginning, like getting, uh -huh. you know, the reservations and working her yeah. paperwork. So she knows the building before was like this, you know, she yeah, remembers yeah, yeah. the first floor plan. It's like, yeah, yeah, I was marketing it even before there was a sales gallery, before even there before was the like the guys only the, the only closed the only closed <laughs> the lot and it was not I think it was branded just with the uh fortune logos. Uh -huh. And no one knew what's gonna be here, but I was already uh, yeah, doing was direct amazing. mailing amazing, <laughs> to my clients. Amazing. Some people are better students than others, you know, like you know when yeah. some girls they do right things, she she gets She does her homework. Exactly. She but studied you know, well in high school, yeah, all A grades. I That's see, questionable. <laughs> I can see, I can see her like a good student. You know, like when you see people <laughs> that they know their stuff. Yeah, yeah. They know the numbers. They have their paperwork and time. They. I hope my teacher is gonna see this video and they're like, <laughs> like really. Yeah, she's successful for a reason. Wow. I have a lot of people good job. They didn't understand what they're successful. You know, yeah, they yeah. have a light. But then when you talk about contracts, or they're like, they have no idea. I have like ah. files for certain brokers because they ask <laughs> the same document every week. So I already have a whole file for that person, you know, with their name and everything. They're looking at a blacklist. And you're like, exactly. yeah. Because you don't want <laughs> to have bounces back. They will have to change. I'm there to help them. So it yeah. But she got her stuff. She, she like, she... Thank you. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. It's not a paid advertising, no. I'm telling oh, it's not? you. It's so not. I thought the whole it's thing not. was staged. <laughs> <laughs> It's what you guys do in TikTok sometimes, <laughs> but we don't do we the... We never do that. Yeah, okay. And she's cute, so we try her in camera too, you know, it yeah. helps a lot. Yeah. We'll see. We're now fighting with Alex for title, who looks for cuter Asian, in the cam yeah. in front oh, of I'm the not, camera. I'm not even competing, you <laughs> take the title. Alex is a patient Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, but this is amazing. I think I've seen this building rendering every single like Instagram page. I know. 
it's the so popular now. The Instagram knows what you're looking at. Yeah. And then when you look one time and you spend more than a few seconds, they got you. So they put oh, more of that. Yeah. So it eventually, of me. Eventually, I don't even have to uh, eventually, our goal is to sell apartment to you, Alex, because okay. it's such okay. a huge market. When the realtors or real estate brokers start to buy in the project, yeah. it means this is like a huge no, Let me do this closing tomorrow and then I'll come back. Exactly. <laughs> but if you believe and if you like and if you would buy for yourself, that's oh, yeah. the best way that you can and then, sell. And then you sell it way you sell better. You emotion yeah, because yeah, you always, people, these pictures is everywhere, these writing is everywhere. But without the emotions of the people involved, it has no feelings. Yeah, yeah. So it has it's to nice be authentic. To, exactly. Right? Definitely. So enjoy, yeah. Okay, thank you, dear. Yeah, we'll hang out here <laughs> for a little bit. Obrigado, Luz de Dia. Oh, meu Deus. Obrigado, Picanha. That's all what I know. Continue. I know more things. Fantastic. Thank you, Lucy. I met the bad ones. Because oh, that's what you keep I started mind. with bad ones. Exactly. <laughs> In the languages, you always remember yeah. the bad ones. But, I don't but, know but they asked me to censor myself exactly. this time, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, Lucy. See, at um, they started to sell the South Tower, right? So this is the largest, the widest tower. It is a South Tower, and they started selling it uh, roughly more than a year ago. And uh, at this point, uh, as I understand, it's almost seventy percent sold. 70%, also, seventy percent, and it's not already a reservation because they uh, pass through the reservations period. So now they are already in the contract. It's hard contracts, okay? So, <laughs> no, really, it's it's just such a big deal for any new construction to reach out to the point when they well, what, they are when, doing when the contractor. Start, when, did you sell, when did you start selling? Okay, so the pre-sales, the one that we just uh, yeah. spoke about. I think the first my emails went to my clients uh -huh. one and a half years. Ago, one and a half year ago, yeah, and then one when and a half sold, year ago. Uh, the, the last, so the first, uh, also the first, like interest we started getting like a year ago. I'd say it nice. was last spring, and then we finalized some contract just this spring. But also oh. my uh, my clients, they made a reservation, and they got super cool unit, and it is actually a smaller unit, uh, okay. but it's still getting the ocean view, direct ocean Beautiful. view. So at this moment, they have the appreciation in the price of, I'd say, 15 to 20%. Already and uh, and also it is hard wow. to tell why it is 15 to 20 because it's actually hard to tell. This model is sold out, so there is no such units so left. left. There are bigger units, uh, wow. but also they at the different price points. So right now, for example, the really nice that we have uh, 1902, it sells for like little more than six million, and this and is like three bedroom, two and a half bath. Got it. What's the asking price for square foot here? Uh, Over, like like the, right now it's 2,500. It's 25. So it's still like for you, New Yorkers. Oh, yeah, yeah, this it is just nothing. sounds like, yeah, like, <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't call it nothing. Uh, no, but, it's, but, course, but still, it's, it's, it's super attractive. And wow. again, uh, the reason why my attention was like really just focused on this project when I just saw the renderings, I realized the brand that gonna co branding with Fortune to build this one. I was like, wow, yeah. because the St. Regis, the current hotel that we have right now in Bell Harbor, it is always so booked the type of the clientele that's returning and returning oh, yeah, and returning repetitive. and definitely a lot of them they would love to get the residents here with the same type of service um, okay and basically there's not so many products that we have like mm -hmm. this is in Miami so that's I'm, what we're talking for like, seasons we are talking yeah. centuries like some of streets probably but yeah you know wow. so that, that that's why it is a popular choice, not because of the location, not because of the size of the land as well, but because of the service for sure. Because I don't know what feeling you got, but when I sell a um, project or I'm showing the property that let's say five million and up, uh, you are like, the energy. They, they all, they are, all of them are looking so nice, so Instagrammable. Yeah. I don't know, very clean lights, etc. But what exactly, like, how to explain what is the difference between excellent and greatest? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like, you know, yeah. I, 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 I don't know. From good to great. Yeah. It's, it's sometimes you can explain that. Yeah. But you and, see it. But this is, I think, the choice for those who really understand this this different because service that's what adds up yeah. for sure i like the way it looks it looks like two surfboards yeah. one is bigger than the other 
put yeah, that away? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow. And yeah. the penthouses? What are they going The for? penthouses, well, a lot of them are sold out. Uh, oh. At the moment, I think it was March last year, and my client wanted to get southeast corner, mm -hmm. and there was nothing left on Never the top floors. So, so we needed to look at like 50 second floor, which is still a good option. Is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not too close okay, to the ground. Okay, so let's, yeah, we can see a couple more renderings. And actually it is important to know uh, that they're gonna implement the solar batteries oh, so in the- building. Yeah, not exactly in full, but still they're really implementing the solar energy elements into the uh -huh. building to make sure that, yeah, it, it may be as, as eco as possible, as eco as this scale of the project could be. This is crazy. The way it looks at night. Right. You should only hang out at here at night. Usually, like at night, the, uh, when, when you start caring about your best side view, <laughs> because like all clients usually just show it during the uh -huh. day, and of course, like the ocean, it just it, you, you're wow. drawn by the ocean. But yeah, nighttime still. And it's, it's also it's way higher than buildings nearby. Ah uh, yes, that's for the reason because they got an approval to be able to build uh, the highest uh -huh. building in Sunny wow. Beach, Florida. It's almost like you're getting the air rise around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. So this is like it's super beautiful, and this is just to understand also and compare the size of the lot. That what I was. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, so this two that's what I told you about. Yeah, so basically this, for example, see how wide this like the neighbor building lots mm -hmm. in comparison with the project. By the way, the Bentley Tower that we discussed oh, already, so it's going to be right here. It's going to be by the Turnberry Ocean Club. So this is the Porsche, so well-known tower wow. in the area, Turnberry Ocean Club, that has been completed end of 2019 and actually has really a lot of value. I personally a big fan of Turnberry brand as well. Uh -huh. Uh, and the new Bentley building is going to be right here. Pretty much uh, da, 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 da. quite comparable size, maybe a little less. Comparable size yeah. for one, I mean, for building. Comparable. I mean, this is going to be like, what, 60 floors? Uh, stories, yeah, roughly 60, 60, I think and it's here, 62. Uh, six, it's 62, I think, 62, 65. Okay, okay so start? see, like the last that I sold, the, they purchased for 4.6, mm -hmm. and right now it is from 5 or 40. Wow, so it did go So up. like, do your math, yeah. And, you're and like, actually, I, it's, it's like, from the time we got under contract, it's less than, five months past. Yeah. And you're like, I told you guys it's going to be a good deal. Oh, this is my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I told you, them. I told you situation is my <laughs> favorite. It's too bad. It, uh, it's not working you're exactly. Like, Are you um, sitting right now? Yes, we're always. sitting. Oh my God, it's already one million when, plus. When people, like, it's, it's good to tell I told you when you actually see the result. Yeah. But the worst, is when you, your clients are getting back to you in a year and they're like, you told us and we didn't buy. And I, I'm like, I oh, told you, that, but that this sucks. I told you, I don't like, yeah. honestly. <laughs> that's that's the worst. Yeah, the worst I told you. Got it. So open houses are sold and you sold all the top floors? Of course. Wow. For me and my daughters and kitty cat. <laughs> <laughs> so like, who buys those apartments? <laughs> So like, uh, I'd say, and I also, I speak repeatedly about it because over the last year, I think you would, I don't know actually how it's in New York. Uh -huh. This this totally separate topic, right? We should record it like <laughs> separately because I have so much questions about New York real estate market. Mm -hmm. uh, because in 2021, I'd say 60% of my transactions were with New Yorkers. You're welcome, so, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, and pearls. this year, and basically the market really started changing in 2022. We don't see as much New Yorkers, so this is a good sign for you. We still see them a lot, but the market switch was from primary residence more towards investment property and new constructions for sure, probably because the inventory also is so low as people who are okay to wait, they would uh -huh. rather wait for their desirable project, you know? But of okay. course the Miami is always a scene for the foreigners, for, for people all over the yeah, world. It's a good Dutch type of living. Mm -hmm. Dutch type of living, yeah. Countryside house. <laughs>